hey y'all welcome back to my channel or if you are new here it is nice to meet you my name is lisa and today i'm going to show you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to sublimate a journal so let's jump right into it So first, we're going to start with a list of things that you would need to be able to sublimate a journal. And you guys will see me looking down because I wanted to make sure I didn't leave anything off. So I wrote my own list out. Okay, so the first thing you would need is a sublimation printer. As you guys see behind me, I have two. I have a Sawgrass 1000 and I also have an Espen 7710. Uh, uh, you will also need some sublimation paper. Today, I'm using the Craft Bestie paper. I'm actually using 11 by 17 in the size, but I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like. You will also need a heat press. Uh, I got my heat press from Heat Press Nation, and it's a 16 by 20. Then you would need some heat tape. You would need some butcher paper. And I get my butcher paper in a big roll from Sam's, so I'm just showing you guys what it looked like. And then, of course, last but not least, you would need the sublimation journal. I actually offer these sublimation journals on my website. Everything that I just listed, it would definitely be listed below. So, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to put this together. So, okay, so this little piece comes in the packaging as well. I'm going to show you where that goes. This is what it looks like once you take it out the packaging. And so you want to take this and lay it down. And so I used this one because it had a little scratches on it. So I was like, I can use this one for practice for the video. Okay, so you want to make sure, even though, and ignore how it printed off. I don't know why it printed off like that. But you want to make sure that it's on there pretty even. And then you're going to take the heat tape and you're going to tape it down. So tape it down on both ends. And then I like to tape around the top too as well. And I don't necessarily put the tape on this part of the journal just because I notice taking it off is a little difficult sometimes. Okay, so I'm gonna do the other side. okay so let me change the view well let me show you guys this right quick so that you guys can see this part on here before i tape before i uh put this on the heat press i like to go ahead and take the adhesive pull it up because that's how you're going to stick it to the journals it's a it's adhesive on both sides of the journals so there you go i like to have them pulled up so when i get ready to use it Okay, so let me change the view. Okay, so now I'm taking the paper that I got the image on. I'm turning it this way so that way it can be right side up so that it can be where the hot plate is. I already have a butcher paper down at the bottom. So let me grab the other butcher paper to put on top. And then I'm gonna press it down. Okay. Okay, so I'm letting this press. I got my heat press temp set at 400 and it's pressing for 60 seconds. So let's see. Ooh, okay. It's kinda hot. So I'm gonna let it cool off for a second. I'm gonna bring this over to the table and let me change the view so you guys can see it. Okay, so let's take this off. Oh, this looks good. Oh yes, that looks good. That looks good. Okay, and look at this. It is no ink left on this paper. That's why I recommend Craft Bestie. Okay. 
So let's take, let me take the tape off of this. I'm just going to pull it off. And see, that's why you put it on the white part, because you see how easy it is to take off. I got tape everywhere. Take that off. Take this off. And here we go. Don't she look nice? And look, I was going so fast, you guys, that I forgot. And I do this sometimes. I forgot to put this little piece right here. And as you guys see, you can you you can do it with or without it. But they say you put the piece right there just to make sure that the notebook is like flatter. So when it actually do the press. But it still came out really good. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how to uh, assemble the notebook. Well, the journal. I do recommend that you guys let this notebook cool off for a second before you actually assemble it. Okay, so you know we already use this tool right here to actually peel off the adhesive on each side. Okay, so now I'm just going to show you guys me taking it off. And see, when I do it, I just go ahead and take it off on each side. And so I like to put, make sure that this little tab is at the top. Make sure the notebook is on the right side. Because trust me, I have adhesed this journal together and it was not on the right side. Okay, so put the journal down. And look, it is down. And then I take this side, make sure you pull it all the way to the side, and then just press it down. And make sure you apply pressure on it. Don't be scared to push on these journals because you want to make sure that it actually sticks really good on there. And so then I turn it this way. Push it on there some more. And there you go. Okay, and so that is it. So I just want to thank you guys for watching. And if you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, bye.